Ooh, I like it! Love that! So, today we are going to be checking out a band called Sound Garden. Well, it's a cool name. I wonder what the story behind the name is. Do stick with me after we watch the video all the way through. I'll be checking out where they got the name from and other fun facts about the band and the song we're listening to today, which is called Black Hole Sun. I have absolutely no point of reference for Sound Garden. I picked this band because I just thought the name was funny. So what kind of genre do I think they'll be? Sound Garden. Maybe there'll be a lot of instruments, perhaps? like orchestral maybe it's like epic movie kind of stuff i don't even know when this band were popular in case you're wondering why i'm clueless about music it's for the following reasons i just never had that phase of my life so here we are on a musical journey together if you're enjoying these reactions and you want to get them before everybody else and be in the first hour club do check out patreon.com slash diane jennings over there you will get exclusive behind the scenes videos and you can also get those behind the scenes videos on youtube channel membership shortly i will be taking a trip to chicago so if you want to support the channel in any of these ways i would be super appreciative however if you're not able to do so like comment and subscribe and good karma might come your way. Those things are all free to do. Sometimes far too long for snakes in 
Tell you all just disappear Black hole sun Won't you come Wash away the rain Black hole sun Won't you come Won't you come Black hole sun Won't you come So you probably saw me going hmm, during the video because I'm thinking those are four four very good looking guys that it was a very high production value music video and the sound although edgy was quite commercial I'm wondering did these guys form the band organically or were they created by a production company let's find out together shall we oh the singer was Chris Cornell Yes, he was friends with Chester Bennington, right? Okay, Soundgarden's origins began with a band called The Shemps, which performed around Seattle in the early 80s and featured bassist Hiro Yamamoto and drummer and singer Chris Cornell. That doesn't tell me that they were formed organically, though. The band helped popularize grunge music, a style of alternative rock that developed in the American Pacific Northwest in the mid 80s. That video looked decidedly 90s slash 2000s. That was a 90s song. The music video was very good. They formed in 1984. Am I looking at the right band? That's a very advanced music video for 1994. They were all very good looking, right? Like that's what had me going, hmm, sus. Like they were all very good looking. Like scruffy, but good looking. Let's find out more about the song. I mean, it definitely seemed from the video like a commentary on a suburban neighborhood that looked like very perfect, but then the underbelly was like this creepy seedy thing. Interesting. I'd like to know if that's the correct interpretation. I mean, of course you can all interpret things however you want. I guess I was kind of taken aback more so by the video than the lyrics. So maybe the lyrics mean something else. Cornell claimed he wrote the song to play with lyrics. Lyrically, it's probably the closest to me just playing with words for the sake of words sake, aside from anything else I've written. I guess it worked for a lot of people who heard it, but I have no idea how you'd begin to take that one literally. I had misheard a news anchor, he said, and I thought he said Black Hole Sun, but he said something else. Cornell once told Entertainment Weekly, it created this image in my brain and I thought it would be an amazing song title. That was a title that came before music, so the music was the inspiration that came from the images created by those words. Cornell had a lot to say about the line, times are gone for honest men. In Rolling Stone in 1995, he said, it's really difficult for one person to create their own life and their own freedom. It's going to become more and more difficult and it's going to create more and more disillusioned people who become dishonest and angry are willing to F the next guy to get what they want. There's so much stepping on the backs of other people in our profession. We've been so lucky that we've never had to do that. Part of it was because of our own tenacity and part of it was because we were lucky. Interesting. Well, I mean, having experienced the acting industry, I would say that's true. Anything like the music industry. Soundgarden are named after a pipe sculpture in Sandpoint Park in Seattle. 
that makes howling noises in the wind. Original member Yamamoto eventually left the band to return to school. He couldn't stay away from music though and later joined the band Truly. The member Everman had been in Nirvana. He got the gig because there was an upcoming tour and knew all of Soundgarden's songs. After touring with the band in 1990, he quit Soundgarden and joined the US Army, becoming a ranger and serving tours. Oh, Chris Cornell has stated he found it annoying that he had become a pinup model out of his image, saying that the rock god persona people tried to build up around him was fabricated nonsense. I mean, you're cute, hon, you're cute. Cornell struggled with depression for most of his life. He was found dead in his Detroit hotel room in the early hours of May 2017 after performing at a Soundgarden concert an hour earlier at the Fox Theater. Depression, guys. All I can say on that is when you're feeling that way, just whatever it takes to not do that unturnbackable thing. Have you always thought of trying a bit of heroin? Give it a go. I do not endorse heroin. That was a joke. What I'm saying is desperate times call for desperate measures. Book yourself around the world trip that you can't afford. A hell of a lot of debt is a lot better than no debt at all. I don't know, I'm not, I'm not a professional. These are just random thoughts coming out of my brain head. That's how I feel anyway. Oh, the band had Canadian connections. Their early set list included covers of Zeppelin's Communication Breakdown and Rush's Working Man. On an early visit to Vancouver, they also opened for Canadian punk legends, No Means No and DOA. Later at the start of 1990, Soundgarden embarked on a run of dates with lots of other bands, headlining in Toronto. Oh my gosh. Chris Cornell was taken out of rehab to make Audio Slave's Kokais video. Kokais? He told Mojo in 2007 that when making the video for the album's first single, they came and put me in a van with a guy who was there to make sure I wasn't given anything. I got my hair and makeup done in there. And then I was parachuted into the middle of this $850,000 video set. The shoot's over, they drive me back to rehab. Audio Slave would also become the first American band to play in Cuba. Okay. Oh, Chris Cornell had to sue his ex-wife slash manager, Susan Silver, to get his 15 guitars back in their divorce. Wow. Oh my goodness, Chris Cornell perfected his high-pitched screams while working on a construction job. The sound of the machines drowned him out so he could really let loose without anyone hearing him. Hey, jobs. I don't know where the sentence is going. <laughs> I was gonna say something along the lines of like, it's good to have like starting out jobs because I also had lots of starting out jobs. Oh my goodness, Black Hole Sun was written in 15 minutes. That's insane. Oh. Chris Cornell formed a band with members of Rage Against the Machine for a while during the 2000s. That's a band we've yet to check out in the channel. Let me know below in comments if you want to see that. And indeed, let me know below in comments what else you want me to do in general on the channel. What would you like to see? Because that's where I get most of my ideas. That's it for today. See you guys on the other side. Bye.